25 years ago, there was an infamous murderer on the loose. His sadistic life started in school when he only had one friend who eventually turned on him because of his strained family life. He was later kicked out of his childhood home, meaning he had to live on vermin. This rabid hunger only grew with time, eventually growing to passers-by. Numbers of victims would be dragged and carried into the Mersey River and eaten. These attacks were only evidenced by the fresh bones and chunks of flesh that would take weeks, even months, to wash back up on shore. It wasn't until the winter of 95 that his M.O. was confirmed, and he was overpowered by a victim, pushed off a bridge into the river to drown. It's almost bitter irony, really. What's spooky is the number of murders that fit that exact M.O. since the killer allegedly drowned. They always seem to roughly match the anniversary of what should have been his final victim. Now, sure, you might assume a copycat or even coincidence, but he always leaves a witness. Authorities warn against traveling in pairs by the sea at this Hi. It's fucking freezing out here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah um, we should go, yeah, we should I go. guess. Oh. Oh, anyway, you good? Yeah. So if you find yourself with a friend to sacrifice, you may unwittingly summon him from the depths to kill again. I'll leave my shorts before I believe any of this is true. And I'd be right there with you. Except they found his body. Recently. Less than three years ago, in fact. The mask that remained a constant across any description of him for the 25 years that he was active was missing, but it was unmistakably him. And he was with a victim. The body of young Harry Wilson matched the killer's traditional MO, drowning. It is assumed that, if he'd been given time, he would have eaten him too but the killer's body was peppered with stab wounds. The mystery was almost put to bed then and there, but the questions remain. Who killed him? Where are they now? And who is it that's been terrorizing the Merseyside area in the three years since, wearing the very same mask? <laughs>